Good morning guys and welcome to iPhone Smart Preview for Turf and Plane Inside Track today. We start off in the first with a Work Riders Maiden Plate, which is a bit of a concern as always because these grooms doesn't always know how to ride, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to start with uh, a beer as my first choice here because um, if I compare a beer to the favorite, I see uh, quite a bit better 1200 form on bat form minus 1.66 versus Cosmic Rays 11 and 16. So I don't think Cosmic Ray is as good as the 1200 as the betting market suggests. In fact, I haven't even got, any, got him in second place. I've put National Liberty in my second place with also got better bat figures here. Um, <clears throat> so National Liberty, my second. Cosmic Ray, my third choice. For fourth, I've gone with the Frozen Palace. Um, as his previous form before he came back now um, on the 13th of August was not that bad with these bad figures there either. And then for 5th, 6th and 7th I've gone with the Paul Peter runners. Um, <clears throat> I went with Monkawa um, because he's got the best stat form and best intent. Um, Global Ransom. But uh, there's also he's also got another first timer in here in Benev which uh, could be anything as well and then he's got trying times which wasn't too bad on his 4.7 Turfontaine thousand but not any good over the 1200 meters um, <clears throat> so yeah global ransom does uh, global view wikiha um, as the one first timer question mark of course because as a first timer we don't know what to expect and then the other one uh, where's that tiger tender mist um, so, yeah, I don't know if there's any market support for those first timers, it must be respected, but I'm going to stick with Abia as my first choice, and National Liberty as my second choice, and Cosmic Ray as my third choice. In the second, I have gone with Janssen van Vieren again as my first choice, and uh, <clears throat> in the form of forward march at 14 to 1. Uh, if I look at the favorite seaways, uh, then that 1450 um, purple bat 11.16 is not the greatest, and his betting was not at all from 16 to 25 to 1. So, forward march um, with these kind of uh, 1.19, 3.24, and 6.6 .6 bat figures and support in the market from the start 7 to 1, 5 to 1, 3 to 1, and now Danielson coming back. That had the best run on him previously I'd make him a decent runner at a nice price <clears throat> for third I have gone with the question mark over the distance strong Kasha it has the best red bat 42 form but obviously the distance is a question mark as well for fourth I've gone with magic blaze coming back from a rest now gelded and because Mike as has my best bet of the day coming up later and then, yeah, then Prince of Magog and maybe Summerdale as my next best. But I do think 147% um, for top four and forward marches maybe that could play. For my third race, I've gone with Five Flower as my first choice. Had a few chances to win and will have another chance to win again. And my second choice, Senescence um, from the Terry Yard. And my third choice, Rose Dancer at the bottom here with that four bat figure over the 1450 not bad at all and now um, that was when the blinkers was removed and the blinkers are removed yet again today so those three are my first choices you can see when it came back after the six month rest or five month rest fireflower did very well with a minus 3.42 bat figure <clears throat> if you compare he did the same when he started 1160 and then went up to the to the distance so um he did have two very good runs when he came when he started so i'm hoping he's going to get back to his winning ways again um fire flower my first choice here in the fourth i've gone with golden spiral as my first choice and the reason for that is purely the 1200 form that does look better for me on golden spiral um, than the favorite miss khalifa if i look at that 1200 form 1.23 over the bat and then a seven 
um, bat versus Miss Khalifa has had that one run in Dur Durban at 1200, 1.57. <clears throat> and then at the bottom here, Gypsy Woman had its last 1200 run as well at 2.82. So um, not very much between them. Nymeria, if this was a thousand meters, would probably win it. You can see his thousand meter form is really good. Minus 2.13, minus 2.8, and minus 0.39. But he hasn't been able to do that over the 1,200 meters. So those four is my first four. Very little for me between them. Um, I have ended up going with Golden Spiral, um, the only runner from the Diane Stinger stable. Some P stat support is only uh, a little bit. It's only been three P stats, 55% uh, uh, on the greeny form here. In the fifth race, the best bet on the card for me is Visiway. And uh, quite simply put, um, <clears throat> if I just look at the P stats here, I've got 50% here on Visiway on overall ranking, on, and on Greeny points, and on Bomb 42. Um, and then if I look at, if I open this up and I look at the detail, the 1200 Turfontaine inside exact course and distance, um, its last run was absolutely incredible if I take into account that he's only got 48 kilos today. So that's where the bat figure pops up here. You can see a bat of 1.77 since he's carrying 48 kilos today, that 1200 TFI. Um, that's way better than anything that Bold Ransom's done, a 1200 TFI on a 25 bat. Um, you can see these bats are nowhere close to that either. And uh, you can see these further down the line here. There's, uh, well, Battle of Trevolder was the, the closest on bat, but that does now got scratched. So nothing really in this race at all that can take out Visiway. Um, so I'm going to bank her in my pick six. If you want anything else in this race, I don't know, um, then maybe look at Rock of Africa or maybe sit a fireball but if Visiway runs at all to how he has run his previous run then he should win this um, he does have a four kilos and if there are now 48 kilos it's just point him in the right direction and win um, <clears throat> I hope it is that easy but uh, that is how easy it should be based on that 48 kilo on his back paperweight on his back <clears throat> in the sixth now this is very interesting where it gets very interesting for me because my first and my third choice is the second last and the last in the market and i'll show you why katie perry here also a janssen from fear and runner um the R raymond danielson takes the ride and he was on the last time when it ran and got the best adjusted time and uh, bat 42 of a minus 1.72 over the 1400 um i don't this was gravel yes agree it was the first time he tried the 1400 and he clearly liked it um and the second best to that is the favorite at 1.75 um with these 3.9 6.8 bats on mill queen so katie perry if uh, if the form of the gravel poly track can be repeated over the 1450 at turfontaine then Katie Perry is a runner, at least a top four runner, which is also some very good value at the moment. Um, the second is Mill Queen, which is the second closest to him on those uh, kind of figures. And Countess of Coulter, the 100 to 1 shot, has actually got the best purple bat or the exact course and distance bats in the field with that 13.66 figure there. Um, <clears throat> so that's another Ruffy that could maybe upset the apple cart in this race. Um, then for fourth, I've gone with Mysteria Walk. You see a little bit further the 14.8 purple bat there. And then uh, Magic School, which has been improved recently because you can see the 18 bat here. And now recently he's gone up to 8.5 over the 1600 and a 12 over the 1600. Um, <clears throat> and that 8.5 was Turfontaine inside. So Magic School could also win it. Um, but I. I'd prefer Mill Queen as the favorite ahead of Magic School in this one. But Katy Perry and Countess of Coulter, definitely two roughies that I'll consider. 
um, to include in the pick six. The seventh race, I have gone with Nafura as my first choice. And again, the kilograms takes a huge turn here. 50.5 kilos here for Teresh Jaglas, only runner for the day. Brings him way ahead on these bat figures on the um, most recent bat 42 and bat 84 form. Um, and then the second choice, put on the red light. Third choice, Asterix. Fourth choice, a little bit of a roughy here, uh, Donderweer, which is at 66 to 1, which doesn't have all that bad figures on the bad sides. And then for fifth choice, Captain of Tortuga with improvement expected since Visiway is the best bet for Azzy for the day. Maybe the next best, the sixth one is Holy Man that ran just the other day. I'm surprised he's running so quick again, um, but his bad figures on the old side. These previous 2.36 bat figures was pretty good. Then in the eighth race, I have gone with uh, Letitia's Angel, but very little for me between Letitia's Angel and Astral Plane with the next best Ululat. Now, if I look at Letitia's Angel here, the 1450 could suit, um, but it's not proven, so that is red bats here. And that red bat is a few lengths better than the next best. Astral Plane, however, does have a very decent 9.07 purple bat, the exact course and distance bat here. That is the best exact distance course, course and distance uh, bat in the field, so not too far off for that one. <coughs> and then Ululat, the next best on these uh, 10 figures with my fourth choice top drawer, then gets set and then piece on the rocks and then soul of wit that's it for me guys the ones i do like today um quite simply put is busy busy way is my best for the day um and uh, my second best for the day would be Fireflower. my third best for the day i'm probably going to um so Okay, put on the spot if I needed to have a third one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think my third one is probably going to be Ford March as a place prospect. And then my fourth one will probably be Golden Spiral. And my fifth one will probably be Katy Perry as a top for prospect at a nice price maybe also combined with countess of kulta at a nice price okay guys that's it till tomorrow have a great day